Hey, welcome to the collection. So today is a bittersweet opening. So I have a stack of figures next to me to be opened that is taller than I am. I'm six foot tall. But this guy, I jumped him to the front of the line because of course we just lost Akira Toriyama. And I am a huge, huge fan of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. I am that age, man. I grew up coming home from school, watching Toonami, and coming home every day to watch what was going to happen next in Dragon Ball. And if you've ever watched my videos where I talked about, you know, the name of the channel, Black Belt Collector, I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. And one of the inspirations to start doing martial arts and to work out, to lift, and to learn how to fight was Dragon Ball. Watching these guys get their butts kicked and then try to get stronger and come back. And I have I have a few figure arts, and when I saw this Vegeta, I was super excited. I jumped on him. So all that out of the way. Thank you, Akira Toriyama, for all the amazing stories and the inspiration. Let's get this guy out of the packaging and play around with him a little bit. All right, got our man Vegeta out of the packaging. Looks great, man. I just messed around. I messed around with him just a little bit, and he feels solid. I know sometimes these figure arts figures can be a little loose and feel a little fragile. This guy feels pretty solid, so super excited about that. The packaging, of course, is always really nice with these figure arts figures. Bandai. Tamashi Nation quality. I like how on the inside here it just shows you you can take his arms off. Yeah, it's always funny how they do that. And they show you some cool poses you can get him in. The the iconic Dragon Ball pose with the kick. That's really cool. So actually I have uh, I have Frieza as well, and he comes with the same arm swap outs where he can do that, and that is just so fitting for Vegeta. It's perfect. So I'll definitely get him in that pose at some point. But yeah, man, he feels really solid here. Nothing is real loose. The joints all feel, you know, not stiff, but like not wobbly at all. Not gummy, not uh, loose, like they're just going to break easily. Some really beautiful design on here. Yeah, man, look at that ankle. That is awesome. Of course, you see a lot of gap there, but it's hidden by the, you know, the cuff of his pants there. And, yeah, even got a little toe articulation. I don't tend to use that very much, but the head, so when you're just looking at it, you know, I mean, it looks pretty good. You can't really tell, unless you look real close, that this piece right here just pops right off so you just pop that off and then you got a lot of different options here just pop another one on there yeah it's pretty seamless so goku i think was just the face and then you know some of them are the whole head you can kind of see the gap there you know but that is an awesome vegeta expression I will probably do the standard just resting bitch face because that's what I think of when I think of Vegeta. He's just such a little jerk. That's a really cool smirk. I like that. I just love that they give you options. This is an awesome like battling face right there. So for the arms, we'll just pop that off right there. And then on the other side, bam. And then this will just slide right in there. So we're gonna go right here. And then right there. So I'll mess around with them a bit and I'll get it nice and solid. Put them in that smirking face. And then of course, we'll grab a few figures off the shelf and do a comparison. Let me get him in a couple poses, and then we'll grab some figures.
So, you know, it's funny. I said I would probably use just the sort of standing, uh, the standard sort of resting mean mug face right there. But once you have this on, it just looks awesome. That is just such a cool expression, especially with the arms crossed. You can definitely get him in some crazy poses, put him in a flight stand, and he's going to look awesome. But once I got this on, I'm just like, yeah, I think that's the look right there, man. That is just so, so cool. He's going to look really cool next to Goku on the shelf. So let me grab some of my figure arts, and we'll see how he stands up as far as size comparison. All right, so here he is next to Goku. So both of them in there Saiyan, yellow hair. And you could tell Goku's actually, he's like a, you know, half a head taller than Vegeta. So I can't remember if that's accurate or not. I'm sure it is. These guys know what they're doing. But yeah, I was surprised. I would, I would think they were about the same height, but Goku is actually quite a bit taller. So I got both of these figures from Walmart which that's pretty cool, man, to be able to pick these guys up just at your local Walmart. You know, I mean, all the rest of them I'm about to show, I'm pretty sure I ordered from like Big Bag Toy Store or something, but it was cool just to see these guys on the shelf and be able to grab them. So I've got some villains to go with Vegeta, our anti-hero, villain, hero, whatever you want to call him. Let's see, what, let's see how he stands up to those guys. All right, so I swapped out Frieza's arms and put him in the same pose, just so you could see. It is something that they've done before. It's a little bit different. You can tell the hands are really hiding well on Frieza, whereas you can kind of see the hand popping out here on Vegeta. I think that's just a really cool touch. You know, just look like he's crossing his arms like that. So Frieza is definitely my smallest figure arts, and then Boo is definitely my biggest. So this is what you're going to get. This is the scale here. Goku would be right in between these guys right there. And I've actually got one more. It's my favorite figure arts figure that I own. And um, let me see if I can, I'll go ahead and put him in here for scale as well. But I actually have this guy. So I just reached behind me right there on the shelf and I actually have him in a flight stand. So, let's just scoot these guys over. Yep, knew that was going to happen. That's why I usually edit this sort of stuff out. But, I'm sure you can tell, it is Cell. Yeah, I can't quite get him in the frame here, so I'll have to hold it like this. But this is actually my favorite Dragon Ball Z figure art that I have. I just think this is such a cool figure. I've got him in some really cool poses before, and I just kind of have him in this floating flight stand pose currently. And yeah, he's he's amazing, man. Boo is definitely the most intimidating on the shelf as far as the size, but Cell is just one of my favorite villains from the series. So, man, thank you guys so much for watching. If you see this figure at Walmart, it's like 35 bucks. Definitely grab him. He looks awesome. I'll play around with him quite a bit more. Get him in a really cool pose for the shelf. And yeah, I'm so sad to hear about the passing of the creator, Dragon Ball Z. But you know, it happens. And thank you for the inspiration. See you guys next time.